Justina, thank you. The task force put in charge of reviewing conditions at the St. Louis Justice Center met today for the first time. Now, this comes during a back and forth over what led up to the uprising at the downtown facility last weekend. Here's five on your sides, Christina Byers. We've uh, never had any events like the last three, this whole time I've been here. Corrections Commissioner Dale Glass was on the hot seat during the jail task force's first meeting since the uprising this past weekend. The meeting focused largely on the status of the locks. When the building was built, uh, it was built with uh, these types of medium security locks uh, that have the ability to be uh, manipulated and compromised. City officials have admitted some of the locks in the Justice Center had been a problem since before COVID started. Retired State Senator Jamila Nasheed grilled glass about the locks. And you don't know how long it would take for those locks to be um, functional. Not completely. So the I same that thing that happened a week, week ago can happen again because the locks are not there. It is possible. As you might imagine, it has uh, us on pension meetings trying to make sure that everybody is safe. So there is no way that you can speed the process up? No. The task force has three goals. They include investigating complaints about conditions at the jail clearing the backlog of cases in the 22nd Judicial Circuit Court, and any repairs the 20-year-old building may need. This all comes after a coalition of advocacy groups sent a letter to the mayor this week, saying a lack of COVID protocols, running water, and unsanitary conditions led to the revolt. The city's attorney accused them of trying to spread a false narrative saying, quote, the incarcerated rioters referenced in your email committed felony crimes when they attacked a corrections officer and vandalized portions of the Criminal Justice Center on February 6th. The rationalizations suggested by your group for this criminal conduct are simply false. Christine Byers, five on your side. And Christine reports the task force begins expects to meet again next Tuesday. You can read more about the accusations by the inmate rights groups as well as the city's blistering response. You can read all of that on Christine's full report on KSDK.com.